Hello there Windows users and welcome to another video in the Windows 7 learning series. My name is Brad Murphy with Ignite Network Solutions and in this video we're going to have a little bit of fun and customize the look and feel of Windows 7 to make it a little bit more personal to us. So we can go about starting this one of two ways. The first way is to right click in your open desktop area, make sure you're not clicking on an icon or an open window and just select personalize down here at the bottom and that will open up the personalization settings window. Now we could also get to this another way by clicking start and going to the control panel and remember this is in alphabetical order and if for any reason you're not seeing the small icons do the view by drop down small icons and that will list all these different icons and we'll want to go to personalization. Now once personalization opens the first thing it's going to default to is the Windows themes. By default the Windows 7 theme is is set up. This theme does not change your desktop background. It has a basic light blue color and your basic Windows default sounds. It does come with some other themes such as architecture with the twilight theme color and the cityscape sounds, characters, and the nice thing about these themes is if we click on desktop background it does come with various wallpapers that by default change every 30 minutes. So this one is playing now 30 minutes later the next one will play in succession. Now let's say we don't like any of the built-in themes that come with Windows 7. There's also a link right up here that says get more themes online. So let's go ahead and go to that link. Now here's the tricky part Windows 7 users. Don't start going crazy and looking at these themes and, and wanting them. Unfortunately these are Windows 8 themes and we have to click on this link right down here compatible with Windows 7. If you download any of these themes right here, they're not going to work with your computer. So click the Compatible with Windows 7 link, and that will open up a site with some Windows 7 compatible themes. Now I was just on the site a little bit before starting this video, and I saw some pretty cool ones, Castles of Europe. I think this will be a really cool one to download. So I'm going to go ahead and click the Download and then open. So that way once it's done downloading it's going to open up in the settings and I can enable the theme. Now this theme's going to take a few minutes to download so I'm going to go ahead and fast forward this video and we'll see you here in a few minutes. Okay our theme just finished. It downloaded and automatically installed so if I minimize my windows here we got a beautiful castle in the background. So now that we got the theme downloaded and installed, let's go ahead and play around with some of the settings for the theme. Click on desktop background and we can get a little preview of all the castles with this theme. I like it. I like it. What we'll do is we'll click the shuffle so that way I don't get used to a certain pattern and we'll have it change every 10 minutes save those changes. It still uses the default light blue sky color theme. I'm okay with that. And it uses the landscape sounds. You could go in here and select any of these if you prefer a different type. We'll just leave it at that. And screensaver is currently at blank and set to start after one minute. We obviously want to change that. So let's go, let's go with bubbles. We'll start that after, let's say, 15 minutes. Apply. So there you go. I, we downloaded a theme and we modified it. Next thing we want to do is look at desktop background. So you don't have to use a theme. You can use just a generic desktop background which you can download from 
any websites. I may recommend making sure that they're safe websites. There's a lot of wallpaper websites that are just loaded with advertisements and try to get you install malware on it. So please be very careful when you're searching for desktop backgrounds. Also called wallpaper to most people. So here I'm going to select an image. Right now the change picture every is is um, grayed out because I'm just going to have this one desktop picture displaying. So that's how you change your desktop background. If you want to use a custom one, you just come in here and select your picture location, or you can click Browse, and then you can browse to the folders or files wherever you have it saved on your computer. So if you take a picture of your kid and you put it on your computer, you can browse to that picture and set it as your desktop background. So that's desktop backgrounds. Let's click back on personalization up here. We can go into Windows Colors. Here's a little review of some of the colors by default. You'll notice if we click on some of these, it changes the hue around the windows. Let's do a little drastic here. Okay. I kind of like this dark blue one, so we'll go ahead and click on that. Enable transparency. And as you can tell, the slider right here. This is very transparent, and this makes the color more bold and less transparent the more you slide over here. So we'll kind of put it right here in the middle, just give a little bit. And if you want to create your own custom colors, you can do that here, just brightness or darkness, depending on your preference. And uh, we're going to stay out of advanced appearance settings at this time. That's a little beyond this video. We'll go ahead and save those changes. We'll go into sounds. If you want to get a preview for what a sound pack sounds like, you can go ahead and click on the sound and click test. This is a very light sounding sound pack. Here, let me turn my volume up some. So we can go to, let's check out. No, we don't need to change that. So some of these sounds will be the same through uh, various packs. I think that Windows log off has a different sound. All right, well, you got to kind of play around with that. I'm not really big on sounds, but it's just another option here for Windows users if they want to customize the systems to uh, themselves a little bit more. So if we go over here next to Screensaver, they have some default screensavers in here. And then you can go into Settings depends on the screensaver. I know 3D text, if you click on that and go into settings, you can customize the text and it has a little bit more settings. I think a lot of the visual ones here really don't have any settings. I know if you go into photos and go settings, you can select wh where it pulls those pictures from. So if you have a certain folder within the pictures folder with stuff you want for the screensaver, you can go ahead and browse to that. I do not, so there's really no need. So if you go in here, you, and then if you have folders in your My Pictures folder, you can go into there and select which folder you want to pull pictures from. So we'll just cancel out of here. And then you could select, you know, if you wanted to wait, you know, 5 minutes, 15 minutes, or an hour. It's up to you. And if you're in a work environment and maybe you get up and walk out to lunch, you may want to have this check mark to on resume display the log on screen so someone can't just sit down at your computer and start using it they'd have to know your password to get onto it so that's the screensaver settings and that is the basics of using windows 7 
themes, desktop backgrounds, color, and sounds and screensavers. Again, if you have any questions, hit me up in the comments section below or email me at info at igniteNS.com. Thank you.